Unati encourages men to open up about sexual abuse. Hello beautiful people, my name is Sharon Mutlabe and welcome to Sharon Entertainment Channel. If it's the first time here, just know that you are welcome. Go relax, okay? Today's weather is chilled, so please relax and feel free to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber and this is your vibe, then you know that I appreciate you so much. Now you guys, today we will be touching on a very, very triggering topic. So trigger warning you guys, if you are someone who is not interested in topics like S assault, um, children, you know, things like that, kindly click off this video. You can watch my other videos or just wait for my next upload, you guys. So Unati posted a video on her Instagram page, you guys, and I will be reading from um, Fagaza News on what she said. And I will also try to play the video here so that you guys can hear her as well. So Unati, you guys, is actually encouraging men to speak up, you know, about it as assault, you know, especially you guys, because when did you hear about um, men opening up about being um, sexually abused? So Unati said, among the men in my life, whether it is friends, cousins, colleagues, uncles, husbands, or friends, there is an alarming amount of men who have confided in us and spoken to say they lost their virginity to their nannies or they were sexually assaulted by their nannies or sexually groomed by their nannies. Some have mentioned the drivers, gardeners being sexually assaulted by people who have been paid by the family to help around the family businesses or estates or help raise the kids. Conversations that I am thankful for and I want the men in our lives to continue having these conversations because I think sexual abuse is something we don't focus on enough. And I agree, you guys. Like, when was the last time you had a man opening up about being as assaulted? I was saying, as a mom of a boy and a girl, for me it is important to have balanced conversations around such. So thank you for these conversations because what you do is you allow us to make informed decisions. Guys, and it's Therapy Tuesday and I wanted to have a sincere conversation with you. It's going to be a triggering conversation, but it's a conversation we need to have nonetheless. Um, Amongst the men in my life, whether it's friends, cousins, colleagues, uncles, husbands of friends, there's a an alarming amount of men who have um, basically confided in us and have spoken and said that a lot of them um, lost their virginities to their nannies or they've been sexually assaulted by their nannies or um, have been sexually groomed by their nannies. Some have even mentioned, you know, drivers and gardeners um you know and being sexually assaulted by people who have been paid by the family to help run the family businesses or estates or help build or raise the kids conversations that i'm thankful for um and i want to encourage the men in our lives to continue having these conversations because i think sexual abuse um on men is something we don't focus on enough and it's a conversation i was having with a friend of mine who were planning to do a seminar on um and i was saying as a mom of a a, a boy and a girl for me it's important to have balanced conversations around such so thank you so much for these conversations because what you do is you allow us to have informed and make informed decisions for example around bath time um and bedtime thank you now you guys like going through the comment section you could literally see that people are not comfortable talking about this thing so when they find a platform like this where you can just be free and say whatever you want to say then that's when people can only say what is on their minds and what is really bothering them so someone commented you guys and said under the um unati post name she said both my aunt's sons are a cat and a dog. They can't stand each other. Growing up, I used to think Ingoba by Alamana. Until a few years back, we learned that the older brother sexually abused the younger brother for years. And he couldn't tell because the older was 
The older one was threatening him and he used to shout and beat him for no stupid reason or no reason at all. This has divided the family till this day. This is a very, very sensitive. Another one said, wow, this was such an opener as a mom of two who is trusting of a stranger to mind my boys. One can never be too relaxed or trusting with your children. Teaching our children to say no and speak up is also important. Thank you for this. Guys, Mina, I must say that I love, love, love um, Onati. And I just feel like she is very, very intelligent. And we need this kind of people in our society. We need this kind of people um in our country you know because it's not everybody who can just come up with with this kind of topics because it's a taboo to some people and this is just like some people are just um uncomfortable talking about sexually um topics like this because even growing up children were not allowed to speak up you find that it's things like that that makes um um children to not speak up when things happen to them and parents who are always like angry like i feel like it's things like that that makes um our children to not speak up then you'll find that um your children is being a bully at school they're just not um focused they're always anger you know anger issues and all of that i think this kind of things that the ones that are contributing to um, our, um children not behaving well you know and because this is like a new generation a new generation of moms that um they know better now and the children can now like speak up and for those who are also not aware of this and i, I feel like it's time we become very open P parents become very open with their children so that even if something strange happened out of their home they can still come home and tell their parents you know and and not feel guilty or feel embarrassed or feel like they did something wrong you guys but anyway you guys if i've offended you in some way on the video please please forgive you what's not it was not my intention at all so i will be cutting this video very short so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this video and you can comment down below and tell me like what have you experienced that like growing up or like even if it's your neighbor your friends you know this is like a safe safe space anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this video